The 2022 Chesapeake Bay Blue Crab Winter Dredge Survey is out. Definitely more bad news than good news. I got Captain Luke over here. He's going to tell us everything we need to know. You don't want to hear nothing about this crab before. <laughs> That'll ruin your day. You definitely don't want to hit that thing. I want to thank everybody that's bought merch so far. Yeah, we're going to edit all that out. If you're bigger than 2X, like my buddy TJ, we got some options for you now. Had our first shed of the year, little baby guy, two inches or something. Just the empty shell, and probably hard enough to swim away out of the side of the pond. Hey, where are you going? I gotta go. We're gonna go sell my two dozen crabs for the day. That was his synopsis. <laughs> what you're gonna do for a low budget option, you're gonna buy an FE Miss Paul sticker. It's the lowest survey in the 30 years that they've been doing it, which is not good news. I have my first fishing lure of the year. Nice little lure, good rock, rock fish candy. I don't know what they call them, a jig or something. Just. Stick that right on there like that, and you're supporting us. About 70 million less than last year, which was a, a lower survey. We had a decent season. It's hard to say. So much is going to depend on where the salinity line lays. Don't forget to draw Made in the USA on your tag so everybody knows. Had our first horseshoe crab of the year. A decent sized male, actually a big male. Crabs are going to show up somewhere. So last year in the upper bay, we had them. Further down the bay, it wasn't as good. In the rivers, there was crabs. All barnacled up. Just gonna depend on what this salinity does. Throw him over. If it stays salty and it keeps getting saltier, the crabs are gonna move up the bay. We'll have them. As fresh water stays coming in, there's gonna be more in the middle of the bay, lower bay maybe. Just really hard to say where the crabs are gonna end up. Throw Jason off the roof here. A lot of small sticks, the water's kinda dirty, and a lot of pollen on the water stirred up, trash. I guess all coming down from Susquehanna. There's a fair bit of rain, they've opened up nine gates was over a couple days. Got a hat? No, that's somebody's hat. Oh, yeah. You gotta pick that up. Last year, I came up with a merch idea. As far as management goes, we are not the problem. The science shows that we are not overfishing. Brought about by necessity, I guess you could say. For me, I have daily reporting. I send in what I caught each day when I hail in and hail out for each day. Handcrafted, American made, with maybe a few non-domestic materials. They know a good estimate of what the commercial fishery is catching. There are outliers. I'm crashed here, boys, a lot of crash. That's the most CJ thing I've seen them do There's all day. There's issues with the reporting end, but we have a, a really good take on what's being harvested by the commercial fishery. Did it fit good? Oh, it fit perfect. It didn't really come to work out. Came up with a, with a product you think maybe everybody would look like. I just didn't think that the individually handcrafted model would work. If you want to like or comment or subscribe, chance to win this top of the line, that famous ball of hat. It was just going to take too long and we didn't want issues, so we went the more commercial route. I don't need any more lice. Good. <laughs> it was the start of merch at FB Miss Paula. There's safeguards in there to make sure that either way, we're not taking too many crabs. Got a pelican flying in here by us. I can't speak on the other fisheries. I'm not involved in those. I don't want to put blame anywhere that I don't understand the process. Oh yeah, we like MLY. You're welcome, buddy! Since we've done management, we have eight-hour work days. We got Buddy the Pelican visiting us now. Haven't seen Bob yet this year. We have limits on our pots. We have limits on the females. We have a size limit increase. Who is ready for some fresh Maryland soft crabs, baby? Got my soft crab tanks running. It's that time of the year again. We're gonna do anything. I'd much rather see a size limit increase to go to a five and a quarter inch crab all year round. A little bit over five and a quarter. Should start having peelers next week. Saw crabs probably into the following week after Memorial Day time. I don't want to see bushel limits on the males. I really don't see that the science shows that that would help anything. All that's going to do is hurt and increase the price of crabs, make the crabs even more expensive. We are below the thresholds for harvesting males. We're below the thresholds for harvesting females. The threshold for females is above where the management goals are by about 20 million crabs. There's a square knot using her, joining them two lines together. It did come down a little bit from last year. The science says there are enough females in the bay 
to increase the population. We have other issues going on. Set up yesterday, which is unusual because typically I wait until I've already caught peelers, then I race around like a madman trying to get everything set up. We're ahead of the curve this year, baby. See these huge swings, ups and downs through the survey through the last 30 years? We have 30 years of data. The crab population comes and goes. It's a variable population. Don't mind this loud racket coming out of this pump. There may really be nothing wrong with the population. It may just come down to the fact that the environmental conditions the last few years haven't been good. Maybe next year with the females we have, we may see a humongous abundance of crabs. We may get back up to five, 600 million range in crabs. Nobody knows. That's what it's supposed to sound like, I'm pretty sure. She's been running about three years now. We had to grease her up real good to get her to come back to life, but there she is. And I want to make super clear, we typically get blamed for the problem. And in this instance, the science shows that we are not the problem. And as always, get to work.